Okay, this is in ACL surgery. This is a bone patella tendon bone autograph. So this has come out of the patient. I just want to show you guys what we use here. So this is used to reconstruct the ACL. So you can come in a little bit closer. So BTB is bone tendon bone. This is off the tibia and this is off the patella. And this is just about the central third of the patient's uh, patella tendon. And that's going to be used to reconstruct their ACL. A couple of things here. There's a smaller piece of bone off the patella. This is a suture that we use to guide it into the tunnel. And once we've fixated the graft on the femoral side, we pull tension here. These are two bigger sutures and two of them on the tibial side to pull tension on the graft so that we can fix it under tension. So we've got the central third of the patient's patella tendon with bone on each side. And that's gonna be used to reconstruct their anterior cruciate ligament. This is how we determine the uh, diameter of the graft here. So this has got sizes up from six millimeters all the way up to 12 millimeters. Typically we aim for about a 10 millimeter graft and you can see we pull the graft through these little tunnels here allowing us to reapproximate the size. And the other thing that I do which is becoming more mainstream now in the literature is I use 200 cc's of normal saline. This is sterile mixed with one gram of vancomycin. That's an antibiotic and this we use to soak the patient's graft to help prevent infection postoperatively. And I'll leave this to soak in a little mixture of this vancomycin solution um, as part of antibiotic prophylaxis while uh, we prepare the patient's knee uh, before we implant the graft. So this is a bone tendon bone autograft used in ACL reconstruction.